All right, what is good about you, Bart Bartone soon? Taylor back here on GTA 5. Once again with yet another new speed glitch for you guys today. All right, today we have the Issy Classic. Yeah, I know, all right, I know. It's not much, all right? It doesn't look like much, but trust me, it is. <laughs> and you will see that with this speed glitch. But uh, obviously the Issy Classic is based off of a couple of the first Mini slash Mini Cooper models, and um, uh, it's really not a bad car. Um, it's just not really that fast, but it does handle really really well. It's a really small wheelbase So it's really good for like cornering and stuff like that. It's a really good track car. It's kind of what it was for but uh, It is also really really cheap. Uh, this car is kind of old. It's been on the game for a couple of years now I think I can't even remember but it is only around $270,000 to I think $360,000 depending if you have the trade price or not on Southern San Andreas So it is definitely worth getting to expand your car collection a little bit more if you are looking towards the cheaper side of the economy of GTA. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the actual video today. Uh, in true bar times two fashion, we're gonna do a test pull before we do the speed glitch and after we do the speed glitch to get a nice speed comparison. And before we do that real quick, we're gonna go ahead and get into the uh, qualifications or you know upgrades. Uh, so obviously you're going to want to get the Mini Cooper itself, the AC Classic on Southern San Andreas. Uh, and upgrades wise, you're going to want to make sure everything is maxed out. So engine, transmission, turbo, braking. Uh, armor really doesn't matter, but I would lower the suspension all the way. I think that it helps with these glitches. And the most important upgrade is low grip tires. Take this thing to the LS car meet and throw some low grips on it. You. <laughs> You will not be disappointed. This thing is actually really fun to drive with low grips, even though it is front wheel drive. It does kind of swing. It's weird. Uh, I'll show you guys that a little bit more at the end of the video, but it's, it's a fun car to drive on low grips. So getting into our first test, well, we are on low grips right now. So just do recognize that that could skew our speed data a little bit for just the, re the regular test pull. But let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll do an exterior view and an interior view. Launcher off. Yeah, dude, a front-wheel drive car spinning off the line is just, I don't know what it is. It's so hot. <laughs> like, it's different. Like, you rarely ever see it happen. And the way that this thing, like, handles with low grips reminds me a lot of, like, like our highly modified, like, Civic or something else. It's like front-wheel drive with a fat turbo, like, spinning off the line. It's weird. It's cool to see, though. So, yeah, really not all that fast. Like, it's, it's a decent little car. Um, like so the handling is really really good when it's not on low grips um, I remember when this car first came out and they had the races that were specifically for it that were amazing <laughs> Super fun. Let's go ahead and get into our interior view here now Getting a little spinny today, but you know low grips will do that. It's kind of in the name um, But yeah, we're really not going all that fast. Um, the acceleration is a little quicker than Honestly, you would expect for a car like this. Uh, it does accelerate kind of quick, but once it does hit that like mid to high end, um, it it really just doesn't want to go anymore. Like we're at 100 and it's pretty much just gonna stay there. I think without low grips, I think it'll still hit like 120 or something, but it's, I don't know. It's really not all that fast, but we're gonna change that, all right? We're gonna change that right now and make this thing a little sleeper, shall we? So we are gonna be using the brand new speed glitch method, um, the double clutching with low grips. And as I say in all of my videos that involve this glitch, this glitch is pretty hard to hit. It takes a lot of practice, so don't discourage yourself. You just gotta practice a lot and really get the timing down for this. And this one's a super weird one. The uh, the controls you gotta hit and the timing with it is really, really weird, but I'm gonna try to help you guys get it as consistent as possible because it is, it is kinda hard. But before we do that, we are going to want to see kind of the gripping point of the car. So we're just gonna fully launch the car first, which basically means just slam the gas and don't try to throttle control or launch control or anything like that. Literally just let it spin and you're going to see when it grips up. So let's go ahead and do that now and I'll show you guys kind of where it grips up because you have to wait a little bit after before you do initiate the double clutch. So we're going to just full on launch it. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Does not really spin that long, but as you see, I'll do it again in case you couldn't really tell from a better angle. The car is still spinning even after the trek, like the actual like uh, the tire marks are gone. The car still spins a little bit. It's really weird, but uh, you can kind of see here. See, we're stopped spinning, and then there's still like a little bit of smoke and like some light tread marks. 
And that's where this timing kind of gets a little difficult. So we can't really use just the full on tire marks themselves this time. I'll kind of show you guys where you need to initiate the glitch on this car because it is weird. But when you literally, you literally just launch off, you're going to see the car grip up and then you're going to wait probably about three seconds ish before you do initiate the double clutch. I'll kind of show you guys real quick where you should do it at. About right there. Right as like the wheels have like started spinning again after it quote unquote grips up is when you're gonna wanna do it again. So I had like, I just fully launched the car a couple of times, kind of see where that spot is. Cause it's from where the tire tracks start, it's about like right here, about that far away from where the tire tracks are, uh, stop. The tire, the tread marks, whatever, man. All right, <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> but uh, now to initiate the actual double clutch itself, if you guys don't know how to do a double clutch, um, I have uh, videos on it that are more in depth, but I'll try to give you guys a little rundown here so you don't have to go and watch those if you don't want to. Uh, but this is a front wheel drive car, so it is different than a regular double clutch. Again, this makes this a super weird glitch. You don't just tap the handbrake to do the double clutch. You have to tap the handbrake and the regular brake at the exact same time. And that's what makes this a little difficult to hit because if you don't hit them kind of like in unison, then the glitch won't really work. So I'll kind of run through it slow here. But we're going to be driving, car grips up right there, one, two, three, let go of the gas, press the handbrake and the regular brake at the exact same time for about a second and a half, and then let go of them and then press back on the gas. So I'll run through it slow again, because this is, I know this is a little difficult, uh, but we're just launching the car, it grips up, one, two, three, let go of the gas, handbrake and regular brake for about a second and a half and then back on the gas. And it's gotta be all in one quick fluent motion. So I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like all put together, all right, in every stage. <laughs> so here we go, launching the car, one, two, three. Didn't hit it there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. The timing with these glitches is so hard, dude. And honestly, I think it is a lot easier. I have noticed with making these videos, it's a lot easier to hit these glitches when you're not going from a dig. When, when you're rolling, it's a lot easier to hit them, but we'll do it again. All right, so we're launching. One, two, three. And there we go, we got it that time, see? And oh my god, this thing actually accelerates like stupid fast. We'll get an interior view coming back down the strip, but oh my god. And it even sounds, dude, it sounds like it's ready to blow up. We're like banging rev limiter the entire fucking time we're doing this. Oh my god, we almost died. <laughs> this thing is stupid fast. And if you guys want to know how to do that quick stop, I showed it in all my videos, but uh, you literally just open up the character action menu, or the character wheel, flick up to random character, cancel it out, and you should be good as long as you're not in the air when you do it because you will meet an inevitable death to uh, ask me how I know. <laughs> but, uh, so now we'll get an interior view here, and dude, this thing is like really quick. Like it honestly caught me off guard when I did test it out. But here we go, just launching the car off. One, two, three. Missed it again. <laughs> Missed it again. It's kind of hard from the interior view. I might start from the exterior and then go into the interior. All right, take number 567 of trying to hit this glitch again. <laughs> um, here we go. And there we go. Okay, we got it. Interior view time. Thank God. That took so long. That's why I had to cut the clip because <laughs> I didn't want to have you guys just sitting there watching me fail. This thing is so hard to hit on a consistent basis. But jeez, dude, we're, look, we're about to max out the speedo. Like, if the strip was longer here, you're going to max out the speedo easily. So I could easily say that this thing goes well over 200 because you can't really pay attention to the in-game speedometer, uh, especially these analog ones. I don't really trust them as much as the electric ones that are in the game. Uh, I think they're a little bit better, but they don't really... I don't think they account for you doing glitches. So I don't think it's actually tracking the car's legit speed. You'd have to get a speed challenge or break your like high speed record in the stats to really know how fast you're going. But I'm confident to say that this thing will go like 250 miles an hour. I mean, you guys see how quick it accelerates. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And to make it even better, we are on low grips and this car still handles like pretty decently well. Like I said, it is front wheel drive, but it is super fun to just drive around. Like, look at this, man. It's ridiculous. We're just bobbing and weaving right now. Like, what other car can you do this in <laughs> and make it look this funny? Like, I'm sure that, like, the Civic and, like, some other of the front-wheel drive cars can, like, do similar things, but I don't know, man. The small wheelbase on this thing just makes it so hilarious. Like, what are you doing if this comes down the road at you in the middle of the night, bro? 
I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm jumping out of the car. I'm probably dying. That is that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is pretty fun to slide too. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's kind of it's really easy to spin out because again of the short wheelbase. Because I mean, you just overturn a little too hard and you're gone. But it's super fun. So I mean, definitely put if, if you're not gonna do the speed glitch on this car, at least put low grips on it and try it out because it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, I really enjoy driving it. But yeah. So as far as the glitch goes, uh, I'm gonna try not to ramble too much more. Um, but as far as the glitch goes, like I said, you just gotta practice the fuck out of it, man. It is it is a really, really touchy one, and really getting down that double clutch with the handbrake and the regular brake, if you've never done it before, is honestly kind of a struggle in itself. Um, I can link my front wheel drive speed glitch video, or not the front wheel drive, the, uh, the front wheel drive and all wheel drive uh, how to double clutch video, because you do the same method for front wheel and all wheel. It's a handbrake and regular brake, but Kind of getting the timing down for them is a little weird, so if you guys want to check that video out, it might help you a little bit more if I wasn't able to kind of explain it as well in this video. Check that out. But, uh, yeah, this glitch, like I said, is really, really fast, and it'll definitely beat Jets. It'll be a lot of... I think it'll beat pretty much every car in the game that it's not glitched, um, even including rocket cars, because these speed glitches are stupid fast. Stupid fast, okay? And they... They're ridiculous. I mean, like, there's nothing really beating them. I mean, most of these will beat jets, especially the, like, infinite burnout tire popping glitches. They, nothing's touching them. So this, I don't think that these double clutching speed glitches will ever be on that level of, like, sheer speed and power. But these are really, really nice glitches to just drive around normally and still be able to put the gap sauce on somebody's ass. So, I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's still really nice to have, so... I'll definitely try it out, and like I said, the car is stupid cheap, so you're really not going to be spending too much money to do this, and it's a, it's just another one of those fun cars to drive around and have fun with when you're bored in GTA, alright? So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, um, I'm planning on doing some live streams here soon of, I'm not actually sure yet, I might uh, put a poll in the community tab, because I've got a couple of ideas in mind that I kind of want to try out, but I kind of just want to see what people want to see first. Um, I want to try... Uh, somebody in my comments in a recent video asked me to put low grips on uh, rally cars and try to rally them, so I think that would be fun. I'd also really, really like to put low grips on more front-wheel drive cars and fuck around with them because this thing is hilarious. And um, I don't know, some other things. We might test out some more drift cars in GTA 2, so let me know. Let me know. But uh, with that, it's been a bit of bar times too, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you guys, and peace out. What the fuck did I just do? What the fuck? <laughs>